I'm Chris Alexander. I'm the editor of Fangoria Magazine. I also fancy myself a filmmaker and a musician. And uh, it's part of the reason I probably extra appreciate the work and aesthetic of writer, director, and visionary Ashley Thorpe. Ashley fell on my radar a few years ago before I took over the magazine. He was blogging for Fangoria.com. And he had sent me a copy of his first film, Scarecrow. A tale of dark spectral revenge and, and uh, ghostly highwaymen that harken back to Hammer Horror. Uh, and was very elegant and classy, and those are words that were not and are still not bandied about very freely today when it comes to independent horror films. I'm so sick of women being duct taped to chairs. That's not something Ashley does. He's working on a completely different level, mining classic English ghost stories. He values history. He also values innovation. I love the uh, type of animation he was using, mixing um, kind of a rotoscopy schizo shaky jittery feel with live action and again coupling it with great music and great atmosphere his second film the screaming skull is no exception it's the same uh vision it's the same aesthetic it's the same motifs being mined uh yet in a much more streamlined way uh but no less frightening no less creepy no less eerie and no less interesting His third film, The Hairy Hands, is again mining classic English uh, folklore and taking it to another level. The beautiful thing about Ashley's work is that uh, not only is it interesting, is it fresh, is it exciting and, and frightening, and uh, and still very uh, elegant, restrained, and classy, uh, but you know exactly who made that movie from frame one. Ashley has a style. To me, the most important thing for any independent filmmaker is style and his signature, his thumbprint. Um, and I think Ashley has it. I know Ashley has it. I'm excited to see what he's going to do with the Borley Rectory, a passion project of his that he's been talking about for quite some time. And uh, I'm ready for it. Are you? You should be. Let's do it. Help him make a film that matters. Lying on the periphery of the tiny hamlet whose name it bears, Borley Rectory was once christened by paranormal investigator Harry Price, the most haunted house in England. This is a genuine photograph taken in 1937 of Harry Price's ghost hunting kit. Whilst Price's still photographic studies of the rectory have been widely circulated, not a single frame of film shot on any of the movie cameras has ever been seen. And perhaps quite as well 